I'm one of the senior managers with the Galway Roscommon Education and Trading Board. I actually only started with them a couple of months ago myself. But I'm hoping today to give you an overview of what we do, how we can support you, how we can contribute to your upskilling, but also some of the career opportunities that we have. It's a really dynamic organisation. There's 2,000 of us working there across Galway and Roscommon. So we're a government agency. There's 16 of us around Ireland. So we cover Galway and Roscommon. Thank you. Um, so I'll talk a little bit more about what we do. So I'll give you an overview. I'll talk a bit about our services that we offer. I'll talk about career opportunities at Galway Roscommon Education Training Board. Talk about opportunities to upskill. So whether you're currently employed or unemployed, we have an abundance of courses, and most of those are free or heavily uh, subsidised. And I'll tell you how you can find out more about those courses and where to go, and then if you need to get in touch with us. So just an overview of us. So we are one of the biggest education training providers in the West. So after the University of Galway, we would be the kind of second biggest in terms of learners. So on average, every year, we'd have about 21,000 learners um, engaging with our courses. So we kind of have three different divisions. We run a lot of schools in Galway and Roscommon. So we have primary schools, secondary schools. But one of our biggest kind of departments is our further education and training. So that's all our community education, our adult education, our youth services, and so on. So that's a huge kind of uh, thing that we do. And then we have our corporate services. So everything that kind of keeps us ticking over, our HR, finance, all of that. So we have 2,000 staff, as I mentioned. So we're very big and we're based all around Galway and Roscommon. But our headquarters is based in Galway. So what we do, as I said, we have community national schools, we have a lot of second level schools, we have further education, so we're actually a multi-college campus, we have 40 different locations, with some of them here in Galway City, for example in Murphy or on the Toome Road, um, but they're all over Galway and Roscommon. We have youth reach centres, so we run all of the, the youth reach centres and a lot of youth groups. We have outdoor education, so we have a huge outdoor education campus in Clonbur called Petersburg. Um, so you can do everything there from kayaking and so on, so lots of careers in the, in the outdoor space. We run youth services, community education, also music generation, so that's a huge music programme that you too set up. Um, that GRE to be run and that's for young people to get them engaged in music um, and we also run all the apprenticeships and traineeships so we do a huge amount in terms of education um, and training so that's just a little bit of an overview and you can see the breakdown of numbers there um, and so on so that's who we are um, and as I said, we're one of 16. So if you're living or working in Galway or Roscommon, you're entitled to avail of all of these services, which, as I mentioned, are free. Just want to give a few kind of learner testimonials and staff testimonials just to give you an idea of, of who we are and what the experience is. So this is one of our learners, Jonathan. He's currently studying with us in GTI, so just beside the CLADA, um, in Applied Social Studies. Now, he's just returned to education after 10 years. Um, so you can see there he hasn't been in full-time education for 10 years. He was very nervous about getting back to it. But so far, so good. He's felt really supported as a mature student. Um, and there's also a work experience component of the course he's doing. So he gets that direct kind of engagement in what it's actually like to work, um, to work in applied social, or in social care settings. So that's just to give you an idea of some of our learners' experiences. This is another learner, Mary. She's doing early childhood care and education. So you can see again that she's actually gained employment as a result of, of working directly in this. So she's working now in an early childhood care setting. Sophie is one of our teachers, so you can see what she says. So Jury to be is a supportive and progressive education organisation. She actually came to us as a mature student and now she's teaching um, in GTI as an arts and social studies teacher. So that's just to give you an idea. One of the services that I really want to emphasise today, which again is completely free, is our adult guidance and information. If you don't know where you're going in terms of careers or where, how to upskill. Our adult guidance and information is completely free and we have a free phone number and you can contact them and set up whether that's just finding out about courses, not just with us, that's a, nationally. So even if you want to go on to ATU or University of Galway or whatever it might be, we provide that guidance. Okay? So we, we're responsible for doing that, um, that service. And it's, it's impartial, it's confidential, as I mentioned. They also give one-to-one -one career and education guidance. So if you need interview support or work on your CV, we provide all of that. And that's available to anyone um, over 16. 
So that's our adult guidance and information. And if you haven't picked up, I, I'll share the free phone number, but all that information is there. But just go to GRE2B.ie and you'll, you'll get all the details. In terms of careers with GRE2B, which might be why some of you are here, it's very varied. But just before I go into the careers, I just want to talk to you a little bit about, I suppose, what it's like working with GRE2B. Now, as I said, I'm only there since September, um, but it's a really nice place to work and it's very diverse and you can really kind of shape your own, I suppose, career within GRE to be. So we're very much inspired by the people that we work with. So our learners, our staff, our stakeholders, we have a huge kind of community presence um, in Galway and Roscommon. So we work very closely, you know, from the ground up. Our people are our best asset. So we're always seeking to recruit um, people. And that's not just in teaching. We have a lot of non-teaching roles as well, which I'll talk about. And you don't need to be a qualified teacher either for a lot of our adult education. So we do have really um, strong HR practices, policies, procedures. So it's a very, um, you know, kind of structured environment to work within um, because we are a leading public organisation. So we promote learning. Obviously, we're a learning and education um, organisation. So in terms of professional upskilling, that's obviously something huge that we invest in um, because, you know, we need to practice what we preach. So just some of the careers that we have, as I said, there's a range of opportunities. Um, so my background, I, I, am a second, I was a secondary school teacher originally, but I've been working with the Department of Foreign Affairs for the last nine years, and now I'm, I'm back in, in the GRETB. So there's a variety of different roles. So my role is communications, employer services, and strategy. So, you know, very different to, to maybe my teaching background that I started with. But in terms of our schools, we have leadership roles, so deputy principals, principals, middle management, teaching posts. Now, if it's for schools, you do need to be registered with the teaching council. We have special education roles. We have loads of support roles in schools, as you know, administration, clerical roles. But further education and training in particular, which is all of our adult, our community ed, our youth services, we have a huge amount of opportunities. And I'm just going to talk about the first one, which is our tutor panel. We want to hear what skills you have. So our tutor panels, they're not qualified teachers, but if you have a skill in dog grooming, flower arrangement, IT, cybersecurity, whatever it is, we want to know. And that's often an open panel. We might list some things that we're looking for, but we always say, what else can you offer us? And that means we can then offer courses to our communities. And that could be to businesses that we work with, or it could be to community groups. So if you're a, you want to be a sewing teacher, or, you know, as I said, all the way up to a level six kind of legal secretary, whatever it might be, we want to hear from you. So we're always recruiting for our tutor panel. We've just closed one round, but there'll be more advertisements in the next few weeks. And that's flexible. If you want to do evening or if you want to work during the day, excuse me, during the day, we'll work with you. Um, adult literacy roles. So if you have skills teaching English as an additional language, we have a huge amount um, of roles within that because that's something that we, that we deliver. Apprenticeships and traineeships. Now, we call them instructors, but they're kind of the teacher and tutor roles. So whether it's a craft apprenticeship in motor mechanics or carpentry, but we also offer um, you know, insurance apprenticeships or sales apprenticeships. So we have a huge, there's actually 80 apprenticeships at the minute and traineeships, in, like if you want to train to be a chef or whatever it might be, a beautician traineeship, there's a huge amount of them now. So we traditionally think of kind of, you know, mechanics and, and carpenters, but actually there's a huge amount of, of apprenticeships and traineeships now. We're also hiring at the minute for professional learning and development. So we're actually looking for a coordinator to support our own staff to be upskilled. So if you wanted to coordinate that, that would be, that's a role that's currently open. Another role we're, we're advertising at the minute is technology enhanced learning. So how we can use technology. So if you have a background in, in kind of the tech side, that might be an in, a role you're interested in. So you can see there's a huge amount of kind of non-teaching roles, I suppose. Employer services is one of the things we do. So we don't just work with, you know, we also work with businesses, I suppose. If they have a need, we're responsible to, to respond to that. So that's a, another role we're recruiting at the minute is skills to advance coordinator. And that would be working with businesses in Galway and Roscommon and, you know, doing training needs analysis, hearing what their staff need and then responding to that. And they're all free. They're free services that we provide. So all the training would be free. Community education, if that's your background or you're interested in that, you know, we, we're responsible for all of that. Music generation, if you want to be a music tutor, that's a, a fantastic programme that, that you too founded a number of years ago. Um, youth service, adult guidance, administration, 
Recognition of prior learning is also a, depart, a, a role we're advertising. So if you don't have a leave insert or you don't have any qualifications, we, rec we work with our learners to recognise their experience. If they've been working for 20 years and now they're interested in, in going to university, we can do those assessments and, and you know, make sure that that's counted now, which is a, a brilliant thing that's come in in the last number of years. Corporate services, we have HR, IT, finance, procurement, communications, Buildings, obviously, we're, we're a huge footprint over Galway, Roscommon, so, so they're kind of the other kind of roles that we would offer. Again, all of our vacancies are there at gre2b.ie forward slash jobs. And just to talk and more, if, if it's not a job you're looking, but it's maybe a career change, apprenticeships and traineeships might be something you're looking for. Again, these are just some examples of some of the apprenticeships we offer at the minute. So IT, hairdressing, auctioneering, property service, um, if you want to be an arborist or a, tr you know, a tree scientist, a commie chef, there's a whole load of apprenticeships that we offer at the minute. And that's kind of earning while you learn. So you've got some of your um, you know, on-the-job kind of employer training and some of your off-the-job in, in our centre, which would most likely be in Murrowview and Galway. So that's just a little bit about apprenticeships, traineeships, if you're thinking about a, a change in direction. Apprenticeships are generally two to four years Traineeships can anything from six to 20 months. Um, so that might be something you're looking for. And that could be in, in, as a jeweller, you might want a traineeship in that. Or it could be as a baker, whatever it might be. Um, we really respond to whatever the needs are there. Further education and training, as we have hundreds of courses. Um, but the first bit of advice I want to give you, and I know I've said it to a lot of you who have who've come to the stand, if you register for fetchcourses.ie, that's, kind of, that's the hard work done. You're on the portal. You can search and sign up for any courses then. And that's a national... Um, you'll see all the courses around Ireland, but you can filter by Galway and then, you know, Galway City or Letter Frack or wherever you, um, you'd like to do those courses and you'll see everything on offer there. But you can also just browse on our website. But if you actually want to get, get over that leap of signing up, putting your details on there, then you can just sign up and enrol yourself in any course. Um, and there's hundreds of them and there's something for everyone, I can assure you. So just to show you, if you want to kind of advance your skills, just a few examples of some courses we're currently running. And you'll see the variety. So there's, if you want to be a driving instructor, um, there's certified welding, there's nursing studies, administration, veterinary assistant, business studies, beauty specialists, legal studies, pre-university engineering, if you want to get up to kind of level six. And so everything, interior design, and they're just a few examples. So there, there is kind of something for everyone, I would say, um, in our further education and training side of things. All, if you are not interested in doing it in person and you want to do completely online, again, free and certified by industry, there's e-college. Again, simple, you sign up. There is a huge amount of, whether it's computer programming, data science, sustainability, digital design. So if you want to be a graphic designer and you want some experience or some certification, you can go on e-college. And it's 24-hour tutor support, but that is online. Um, so that might be something you're interested in. Skills to advance then as an initiative, so this is another government initiative and micro-credentials are a new thing which you might not be familiar with, but instead of you doing a full-time course worth you know, 60 credits, you can actually stack them over time. So you want, might want to do a course this year that's worth five credits and that's just going to be maybe seven weeks. You can actually stack those credits to get a full you know, level six qualification. So that's what these micro-credentials are about. And you know, gre to b are providing them, ATU also have quite a lot of micro-credentials. Um, and I'll just talk a little bit about those. But skills to advance, if you are in employment now, which you might be, or maybe you're looking to change, these are all completely free. So, you know, we have a load of interesting skills to advance programs that will be coming up in, in the next few months. But I just want to talk about two of them that will be coming up in April. And they're anything from, they're only a few weeks. They're about six weeks, maybe two hours um, done online and maybe one in person. We're not fully validated for 100% online for skills to advance, but we might ask you to come to one of our centres once and then that, that counts. So we've environmental sustainability in the workplace, which is level five. So that's going to be open to anyone. If that's an area that you're interested in, we'll be running that in Galway and Roscommon. And they're kind of, they're bite-sized pieces of learning um, between five and, ten, and 12 weeks. But you can stack those. And over time, you know, if you do a few different modules, you, you'll work your way up to a major award. Digital skills for business is another one that's also going to be starting. So if that's an area that you want to upskill in, then you absolutely can. And I know there's a lot of jargon, you know, when you come to this, don't be afraid of it. 
Um, but just to show you it, what we do in GRE to be is everything up to level six, which you might be able to see that now, but everything before a degree. So, you know, if you don't have, you know, any experience or certified courses that you've done, you can do some of these and that if you do want to go on to university, then, uh, you know, we've really strong links with ATU and we, we support people in making that transition as well from our courses up to doing a degree. Um, so that's basically a little bit about GRETB, what we do. There is something for everyone there. Um, don't be afraid of, you know, when you go on and the jargon and all of that. I know that can be a little bit scary, but I definitely, two pieces of advice, register and fetch courses. If you're interested, just do that today. And even if it's a course you see in six weeks' time, you'll be able to apply very quickly. And also reach out to our adult guidance. We have professional guidance counsellors. It's free. They can give you kind of direction, point you in the direction of, of any courses or, or career-wise as well. Um, so definitely avail of that service. It's a free phone number or email, and you can arrange to meet with one of the team. So, yeah, just to say thank you. Again, the details are there, but if you want to pick up the details, um, but I'll leave that on. We're also on social media, so we're often kind of, we're always putting up new courses, so you might look today and not see what you're looking for, but let us know, because we respond to, you know, if we don't know you're looking for it, it's very hard for us to kind of be able to respond to that need. So do get in touch if there's something that you don't see because you're probably not the only one and we can schedule it for, you know, a few months' time. Great. So I don't know if anyone has any questions. Any questions for Ashling? No? no? No questions. If you are feeling a bit shy, don't forget you can <laughs> approach her at the stand, okay? Thank Absolutely. you so much, Great. Ashling. Thanks so much, everyone.